You cannot live in a museum. You can't live there. There's no beds in museums, right? There's no rooms, no showers in museums. Museums are something that we're called and we're supposed to visit to get a clear picture of the past, learn from it, and then you leave. So we have to be careful about how much time we spend in our museums. Museums are representative of the past. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. God never told us to spend a lot of time in our own museums or anybody else's. Everything about God is progressive. Everything about God is forward moving. Everything about God advances, press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ. Forget the former things, right? Behold, I do a new thing. Old things are passed away. All things become new. All these scripture references talk to the newness. It speaks to the newness of where we're going, where we're headed, not where we've been. There is a reason there are no beds in museums. God has called us to greater things, new things. Behold, I do a new thing. So we have to be careful about how much time we spend in old failures or even old successes, whether they be ours, whether they be someone else's. I can tell where a person is based on their conversation. For example, if someone calls me and they say, um, Hey, what you doing? And I'm, if I'm sitting on the beach, I'm going to talk about the beach. That's where I am. I'm going to talk about the beauty of the beach. I'm going to talk about the flamingos. I'm going to talk about the beautiful ocean. I'm going to talk about this coconut drink I'm drinking. That's that's where I am. That's my location. That's that's what I'm going to tell you about. So if you ever want to know somebody's location, all you have to do is listen to the conversation. If you ever want to assess your location, all you have to do is listen to your conversations he said that's the thing sometimes we spend so much time talking that we don't do enough listening and we have not assessed ourselves we're so busy assessing everybody else but we have to look inside to say God am I where you want me to be am I pressing or am I regressing am I leaping forward or am I stuck remembering the former the old and like I said remember it doesn't matter if it's good or bad because some people are stuck worshiping their trophies. You're stuck loving on the successes you had from yesteryear as if there's nothing else for God to do in your life. Sometimes we do that because it's fear. God, will you do it again in me? Will you do it again through me? Will you use me again like that? Sometimes it's disobedience, just a refusal to do what God has said in this next season. Sometimes it's rebellion, but in this season, we must understand, and you must apply this today, that this is your time to go forward now. Stop looking back, stop living back, stop dreaming back, dream forward, move forward, live forward, go forward.